Now, Vicki told me about the history of Nikki Smith, but she was so sure that Nikki was gone forever. We all were. Proves once again the only sure thing in life, death and taxes. Uh, you know, maybe I should go to Landfair. Maybe I can help out or something. Sheila, we appreciate your concern. We know how fond you are of Vicki. I don't think you can handle Nikki. So let it be, and if Clint needs you, he'll call you. And I'll keep you posted, darling. I just hope that this is over as suddenly as it started. Well, don't you count on it, unless the psychiatrist is a miracle worker. I think we're all in for a long haul. You know, Vicki also said that Nikki appears at times of uh, extreme stress. Yeah, I and mean, that's what I don't understand. I mean, why would Nikki Smith come out tonight, of all nights? Honey, this whole family has been in turmoil for months. It's lucky we all didn't flip out. Yes, but... It's all been resolved. There's nothing but cause for joy. What would bring Nikki Smith out? I don't know. Well, if there's uh, anything I can do. Thank you. I... I just wish there was something we could do for Megan. Megan, you're not responsible for what happened tonight. I've known Nikki Smith since she first appeared. It's just that she's so cruel. And she is the total opposite of Vicky. And this is going to be very hard for you, but you cannot let her get to you. I don't care about myself. I just care about Vicky. I want to get rid of Nikki. No, no, no. no. Listen, the, the situation is a lot more complicated than you know. Don't jeopardize Vicky's mental health by, by trying to solve this on your own. You may be doing more harm than good. You understand? Yes, I do. I'm just going to go over to the house and try and help the No, kids. don't do that. Just go home and rest. If Clint needs you, he'll call. Trust me, Megan, I know what's best for Vicky. Okay. Fine. Let's go. Well, that's uh, all I know about the situation. Yeah, well, I feel like a jerk accusing her of being loaded. Me too. Well, you didn't know. A lot of people made the same mistake. Yeah. Yeah, but that doesn't make me feel any better. Is there anything uh, we can do? Just, just keep her in our prayers. Listen, I think we should go. Come on. Yeah. Good night. Night. Okay, good night. Good night. Thanks for the dance. Sheila, glad you caught the bouquet. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night. Good night. It was a wonderful wedding, and I was hoping the happiness could just go on forever. Vicky will be back, Cousin Wanda. I guarantee you. Listen, if there's anything I can do, you just let me know. Okay? Yeah, thank you. Thank you so welcome. much. I'm going to get back to the hospital. Do you want a, a lift on the way home? Yeah, oh. that's a good thing. Good night. Good, good, good night. night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> thank you. I'm sorry about that, buddy. Well, Vicky said that I might have to lose in order to save her. Well, let's hope we don't lose Vicky. No, I tried to talk to her, tried to get her alone, but uh, every time I did, somebody would interfere. So I never got a chance to really find out anything. I mean, did you believe how Vicky ripped into Megan? No, oh, that's a scary thing. I mean, even if she is faking it, that was awfully cruel, don't you think? Yeah. Maybe she didn't have any choice. Like my wife, Gabrielle. I found it hard to believe that Gabrielle was working for Carlo too, but once I saw her slip that champagne to Vicky, I mean... How the hell could she team up with, with slime like that? I don't know, you know? I mean, shh. I mean, where's her loyalty? I mean, after everything that Vicky has been to or given her, I mean, I guess her loyalty is to her narcissistic self. Hmm. How, much, how much do you think she's getting paid? I don't know, a lot, I'm sure. Did you see where they went to? Yeah, I followed them to his room. Carlo yeah. left, she stayed. i tell you one thing, I used every single ounce of my willpower not to break that door down and ring her little neck. Good, 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 good. Remember, you gotta keep cool until we figure out what Carlo's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what the hell does he want with, with Nikki? Smith I don't anyway? know, I don't know. Maybe it's revenge. If so, he's getting it, because he's messed up everybody's life. But, you know, I was the one who promised to protect Vicky, keep hey, her safe. I don't said, blame yourself on that, okay? <sighs> Listen, what we've got to find out is whether Vicky is playing, acting, or we're dealing with the real Nikki Smith. You're right. Well, I'll get on it right now, and I will get Vicky or Nikki alone and find out. Okay. Let me know, eh? Good luck. Yeah, and listen, I'm sorry about Gabrielle and the whole thing. <laughs>
One lives and learns, right? I just hope the woman you talk to is Vicky. Party's just begun. Hey, Jeff, how you doing? Well, at least our thank own little you. family thank party, you. anyway. Ooh. Congratulations. Oh, thank you very oh, much. Oh, here's the happy couple. We didn't think you'd be home so early. Uh, yeah, the surprise was almost on us. What's the dad? They're supposed to bring the cake from the hotel. You need all, did you? Uh, no. No, we didn't. <laughs> oh, man, we blew you guys off your tracks, huh? Come on, let's give them a chance to uh, recover. Who cut the bouquet? Did Megan? Uh, no, uh, Sheila Price caught it. But that's just as good, right, Jess? Yeah, that's the end. Come on, you guys, I got a present for you. Let's open it, huh? I can't look. Do me a favor. Let's try to get everybody upstairs before Mom and Dad come in, all right? But Duane's coming down with the baby. We're going to take some pictures. Uh, we're going to take a rain check on that, okay? Um, something happened at the reception after you guys left. Why don't we go upstairs and I'll explain to you up there. Come what on. happened? Mom didn't have another stroke, did she? No, no. Um... <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm going upstairs. I don't want to deal with the kids. Mom! Jessica. Why are you wearing that funny lipstick? And what's wrong with your hair? You're not mad because we left the reception too early, right? Because we had a little surprise here. Nobody's mad at you, Joy. Something's wrong. She hasn't even said hello yet. That's because she's not our mother, Joey. Telling you, I just want to strangle her. No, you want to get your mother back. Yes, of course I do. Dr. Wallach said that confronting Nikki will not bring Vicky out. I feel like I could do it, but I. But you can't stand being hurt by Nikki. Look, it doesn't take a genius to see what she did to you, Megan. It's just that I'm scared of her. It's not just that she's cruel, but that. Uh... But tell me. You're not afraid, are you, that this is hereditary? That it's something that can happen to you? No, of course not. But I am responsible for bringing Nikki out. No, Megan. She did that to hurt you. You can't go on blaming yourself about your mother. You did what you thought was right, and you have no reason to feel guilty. Maybe, but I have no reason to feel helpless either. I'm going to get my mother back. You are Nikki Smith, aren't you? Here. You're my mom. Uh, Jessica, I'd like you to go upstairs with your brothers. Cord and Tina will right. go up with you. What happened? Where'd you come from? Okay, come on. Everybody upstairs right now. Let's go. Come on. Kevin, that's not your mother? No. Come on, let's get out of here. Well, I suppose I should at least say thank you for uh, not saying something nasty for the kids. Excuse me. What the hell are you doing here? I want to know if I could talk to Nikki. Forget it. You've caused enough trouble for one night, Jake. All I want to do is have five minutes. I said to forget it. Don't. Please. You are not going. You are not going night clubbing with this I guy. I am not going anywhere with him. I'm not Nikki Smith. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's very nice try, but I'm not buying it. You pulled it on me oh, once please, before, Clint, remember? Clint, believe me, please. I'm not Nikki Smith. Really, I'm not. It was all an act. I'm sorry. I'm dreadfully sorry. I know that I embarrassed my family beyond belief tonight, and I apologize to you and to you. But I had no choice. I had to pretend to be Nikki Smith. And now I really need your help. You told me this wasn't going to happen again. Look, I thought she was gone for good. So what do we do now, huh? Just stay cool so we don't scare Jessica, okay? Right. What's wrong with Mom? She's sick, Jess. She looks okay to me. Oh, well, yeah, that's 
What makes it so hard to explain? See, remember when this happened before? She's too young to remember. Well, the person in the library, it's not your mom. She is, too. She's, little, she's too little to understand that. How about if you let me give this a shot here? Uh, Cord, let me take a seat, JP. Good idea. Oh, come Good on, idea. Mr. Monster Man. Okay. All right. Good night, everybody. Good night. Uh, Lisa, would you, would you like to come with us? Sure. Okay, you all right? Yeah. Good night. Okay, Jess. Uh, your mom's got what is called a multiple personality. It's like there's someone else inside her. Right. And, and sometimes this other person, well, she kind of takes over your mama, and, and her name is Nikki Smith. But where's mom? Well, uh, that's where it gets tough. Well, it's like mom's asleep in Nikki's mind. And when mom's okay, well, then Nikki's asleep in her mind. But when Nikki takes over, mom goes away. But she always comes back, right, Kev? Right. You see, this Nikki person, she's not like mom at all. I mean, she looks like her, but she's really different. Sure, she says things and does things that are really weird. Look, the thing to remember is, she's not gonna hurt you, okay? Now, I can promise you that. And Paul's doing everything he can to help her out. You know, we're gonna get her doctor and everything. And hopefully, we'll get your mama back real soon. Yeah, it, it may be a day or a week. It's kinda hard to tell right now. There's gotta be something we can do to help her. Well, Joe, there's not. Except we can just, like, stay calm, you know, and, and we can't let Nikki get to us, all right? We can't let her upset us. And you don't have to worry about it, all right? Just remember that whatever this lady says, she's an entirely different person. See, if you ever get confused or scared, Kevin and I will be there for you. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. That's right, Jess. We'll be there to take care of you until Mom comes back to us, okay? Gabby? Gabrielle? Carlo? What were you doing? Looking for loose change? Very funny. I was hiding because I heard a key in the lock and I didn't want the staff to find me here. Well, don't worry about the staff. They know how to keep their mouths shut. Oh, do they? Well, you're probably blackmailing them the way you're blackmailing me. This partnership is very profitable for you too, my dear. You, um, really have got to learn how to relax. Some of us don't murder for a living. <laughs> you haven't murdered anybody. I could have killed Vicky tonight with that drug. But you didn't. Because I knew exactly how much to give her to accomplish our goal. And, uh, she, she has to uh, stay alive, Gabrielle. She's only useful to us, alive and healthy. Well, uh... Physically healthy, at least. I saw Nikki and uh, Clint leave together. You went down to the reception? No, no, no. I, I went down to uh, the lobby to see my uh, creation. She's quite a feisty woman, isn't she? Carlo, I'll be dead. If anybody finds out that I'm the one that put the drug in the champagne, I'll spend the rest of my oh, life in Statesville. Gabrielle, if you're clever and careful, you're in the clear. Hey, hey, uh, I uh, certainly won't tell anyone. This whole damn thing is a joke to you, isn't it? A sick joke. <laughs> I don't know why I ever let you talk me into this. My part in this is finished. You and I are finished, Mr. Hesse. Good night and goodbye. No, 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 you, uh, you can't leave, Gabrielle. Oh, you must be aware that my plans for revenge for the Buchanans haven't even begun.